Sonic spell, blind as a bat they shall be, for truth be just way too hard to bear for thee. Happy Harmony Day, is it Harmony Day, Harmony Day? I just saw it, I was on the train, I went to have a look at the camper, it wasn't there, don't talk to me about it, just don't talk to me about it, it's been a long, long morning. Um, just, I just saw it on the train. My health's regressed. You can probably hear it in my voice. My health is just getting worse. I can't stop coughing. I think I'm going to lose my voice. As they rejoice, no more videos from Brett, they say, because... <laughs> oh, Harmony Day, guys. Like, like, are people this stupid? Like, really, are they this stupid? So Harmony Day is a thing where it's all about cultural diversity. It's all about unity. It's all about tolerance. And it's all about inclusion. And it's all about non-bullying and all of this stuff. All of this sort of crap. The exact same stuff they, they've they all cried out for as soon as this Christchurch false flag happened. This Harmony Day comes. And what's Harmony Day? Harmony Day is the same shit. It's exactly the same agendas. Exactly the same. Except with Harmony Day. Oh, with Harmony Day. No, no, I don't feel, I feel just as I sound, I can assure you. I feel absolutely horrendous today. It's just got worse overnight. But with Harmony Day, <laughs> they do it on the street. So they bring all these agendas that you see on the TV because that's why they exist, because the man on the TV said they exist. And they bring it into the local community. So they have all these stalls and all these fairs and all these things set up in the town where you go there and everybody's equal and everybody's the same and nobody's unique and everything, that, every way that God created just goes out the window and everybody's yay, yay, yay. <laughs> and all the victims in the world rejoice. And they rejoice because today they can't be picked on in their victimness. You can just imagine going to one of these stalls, eh? Imagine going to one of these stalls, you'd have these ladies there, these women that just go, oh, and welcome, and I hope you have a really good time, and I hope everything, everything, and you, and you have a nice, diverse, and equality day, and I'd just, I just rock up and say to her, I think you're an abomination, and I think this whole thing is an abomination to God, and she'd have me arrested, and tolerance, tolerance would go out the window then, and diversity, oh, no, no, no. As soon as you mention the Lord, oh, no, this tolerance, it's gone right out the back door. Right out the back door. So everything, so everything today that they can possibly bring together, that's anti-God, they bring together today. So what's what's equality? So I, I remember there the other day, this politician was on that project show, that, that one I mentioned a lot on Channel 10 here with that Lisa Wilkinson creature, I'm starting to think she's a Nephilim. I really think she's a Nephilim. Um, the, she, she asked a politician, do you believe in equality? And this guy's a right-wing politician. Like, right-wingers should be standing up, you know, standing up for those who, like, you know, who are in the church and God and stuff. But they're all just Freemasons playing a role. They've got no value out, values outside of Freemasonry. But this guy was petrified. This politician was absolutely petrified. He went, oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course I agree with equality. Huh? Like, the right answer is no. Like, I just saw a guy on the train that's got bigger biceps than me. I mean, that gave me the shits. That's not fair. I should go now to equality and go, Wah! why can't my biceps be bigger? Or that guy over there is having a running race and he comes second. That's not equal to the guy that comes first. You've got boobs, I don't. I've got a penis, you don't. Oh, oh, light globe, see? On it goes on it goes that's what they're doing so it's all about the unity it's all about bringing it together as one once again with their tower of babel bullshit the god the lord he created us different unique why did he create us different and unique because we all have a different walk in his name we're all in the body of christ those of us who are in the body of christ we all bring different attributes to the table Right? So we're not all here in the body of Christ just to deliver the gospel. 
No, we're here to look into different parts of the gospel. We're here to dissect and learn about different parts of the truth, like I'm doing at the moment with Genesis 5 and the Nephilim. Right? It's, that's how God's created me. He's created me because I'm passionate about those things. Other people are, are passionate about other things in the Bible and they walk with Christ. And we deliver them. If you're doing good works, you deliver all this work, all of these things you've been working on. I do it on a YouTube channel. Other people do it different ways and I do it in the street like I did up there at that bloody belly of the beast Salvation Army horrendous place there the other day did good works you know because i know my stuff i've gained wisdom from the lord because i walk with the lord and he he appeals to me in my own individual way and then i appeal to different people because everyone's different right but they don't want if you're born with a cock they don't want you to have a cock they want you to have a vagina if you're born with a vagina they don't want you to have a vagina they want you to have a cock and if they get really 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 lucky really lucky you won't have anything and you just be this gender neutral creature. Why do they want that? Because that's not what God wants. Like it's, isn't it just, you know, and what's, let's have a look at that word. What's, what's the word, um, um, tolerance. What's tolerance? So if you walk around, if you walk around and you're this transgendered creature, I'm not allowed to say anything to you because that's intolerant. And we can't have intolerance. Anything that goes against social progression. I'm just looking over there now. It's just caught my attention now. And I can see, um, the railway station's just over there. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six CCTV cameras. Six of them. Now, why are they there? For our own safety, right? So this is what there's all this inclusiveness and all of this agendas from Christchurch and all this crap they're carrying on with today, with Harmony Day. This is what happened. You can't walk now down the street I'm in the body of Christ. I'm doing YouTube videos and I'm the enemy of them. Why am I the enemy? Because I'm good. I'm good. I'm with the side of good. That makes me the enemy. So they're, they're, they can use those things to surveil me. They can use this phone to surveil me, to keep an eye on me because I'm up to their wicked ways. I know exactly what their wicked ways are. You know? And that's what all of this agenda is. The whole thing, it all ties together as one. I've just been reading Jasher. It's funny, I've just been reading the book of Jasher and it goes into great detail there about Babel and the Tower of Babel and, sorry, Nimrod and the Tower of Babel and, and the walk of Abraham and how Abraham and, um, and Nimrod really conflicted. I didn't know that. I, di I didn't know that, but they, had, they really went to war together. Like, Abraham was a big, big figure. Like, not to be messed with Abraham. I had no idea about Abraham. Oh, my goodness gracious me, what a warrior for the Lord Abraham was. Whoa, whoa, I can't do a big whoa that I normally do because I'm not well, I'm not well. I think you can hear that. Let's drive, let's drive. So Harmony Day, <laughs> Harmony Day, no, no, please don't fall for it. I gather people that subscribe to my channel won't fall for it. I mean, let's just recap a few things, eh? <laughs> let's just recap a few things. So, with the Christchurch shootings, I think anybody that watches my channel... If, if you can't see that it was an inside job and it was just to, it was just to forward social progression and lack of, um, lack of freedom, um, everything they say that they're doing, what they're doing is the opposite, but everyone's falling for it. Why are they falling for it? Because the man on the TV said so. I was talking to my brother yesterday. My brother broke my heart yesterday, guys. I was having a conversation with him and I was talking about Christchurch and I said, look, I said, um, if I sent you one of my YouTube videos about Christchurch, would you, would you watch it? And he went, oh, nah. And I said, why? And he said, oh, did it just be conspiracy theory stuff? And I went, okay. I said, so um, it's not conspiracy theory. I said, it's the truth. And I said, I'll take you through why it is the truth. And he said, no. He said, I don't need that in my life. I went, really? I said, is that right? And I said, um, and I said, well, why is that? Like, why don't you need truth in your life? And he said, oh, he said, I just can't handle the fact that I just can't put myself there. He said, I can't put myself there that the, um, that the people on the TV are lying to us and governments are lying to us. And that was his, that was his response. That was his response to me offering him truth about Christchurch. His response was, I just can't bear the thought. I can't bear the thought of the man, of knowing the man on the TV is lying to me. 
And you know what? That was the Lord. That was the Lord speaking to me because my next question to him was, mate, I said, if Jesus was to come back right now and, um, and, and, and I, to, was to rapture me away, um, back up to the new heaven, I said, would you come if you had the chance? And he went, no. Nah. And I said, why? And he said, I've got no need for Jesus. <laughs> broke my heart, guys. Absolutely broke my heart. He did. But... It's the Lord teaching me, talking to me. I had, had a few sort of issues with my family there yesterday. My dad bailed me up about Flat Earth, and I can't talk to Dad about Flat Earth. I just can't. You know, I can't talk to Dad about anything because if Dad's wrong, he just blows up. He just loses his shit, and he can never be wrong, and he's wrong here. You know, he, he bailed me up about about oh, space and asking me questions about where the sun is and... And I said to him, I said, Dad, I said, I'd like, it's all in Genesis 1. He said, where's the sun? And I said, it's just up there. He said, no, 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 where is it in the sky? So I've got a learner in front of me, right? I've got a learner. And, and I'm really patient with learners, like really patient, because I was one once and I remember. And this guy's not doing real well. Like, he's all over the road. He, he might have seen me back at that intersection there before I sat there forever because they just couldn't come out. But anyway, this person's like right on the left. Whoa, he's off the. Oh, he's just got off the road, um, on the left. You know, he's really struggling. I think they've only just started. So I give him space. I sit right back. I put no pressure. But guess what's happening behind me? Take two guesses. Two guesses. I've got a car right up my ass. It's unbelievable. People are just no. I don't want to know Jesus. I've got no need to know Jesus. No, no, I can't handle the thought of. Uh, of the man on the TV lying to me. That's what these days, these these days do, guys. They just they're just crippling people's brains. You throw in the vaccines, you throw in the chemtrails, you throw in the GMO foods, you throw in it all, and this is what's happening to people. The old man just says to me, he says, "Well, where is it in the sky?" I said, "It's exactly what it says in the Bible, Dad, in Genesis one one through ten. It's all there." Um, and he said, oh, no, and th my man, old man's meant to be a man of God, right? Like, he dragged me to church when I was a kid, when I was, like, eight years old, and I had to go, and I hated it. I hated every minute of it, and I had to go, and he dragged me through that, and he said to me, he said, ah, that's ancient history. I said, pardon, pardon? And he said, that's ancient history. He said, no, he said, that's not relevant now. I said, God, D Dad, God doesn't change. And he goes, you're mad. You're absolutely mental, you are. He says, you really need to re-look re -look at your beliefs, he said to me. I'm like, whoa. So I'm a bit confused today, guys, a bit confused. I go down to see the camper, and I haven't had a good morning. It's Everything's just gone wrong this morning. It's just been a horrible morning, and I'm getting more ill. Um, and I've just seen Diversity Day or Harmony Day, whatever the hell it is. Um, so we're going through a school zone now, and it's not school time, but the learner's going to go 30 k's through the school zone when it's not school time, and the person behind me is just can't even see its lights now. Like it's all my fault. The learner's going slow. Ah, oh, no, but their, their brains are just—I don't know. Their brains are just—they're—they're they're not. I—I I think I just need to go to bed. <laughs> I think I just need to. Uh, no, I'm going to go down the park going to go and get me a cuppa and I really want to get down this whole Genesis 5 skin thing that I'm on to. I've been onto this for a few days and I've been wanting to get the video down. Um, so it's going to be hard to do So I've got a lot swirling through my brain but I really want to get that down. So I might get out of the park now and, and get into that video and just get out of this out of this world, you know. It's been a tough morning. It's just like I prayed to the Lord. I pray to the Lord, you know, like I found out yesterday, Jesus isn't his name and that's a new deception, you know, that's a new deception that we, we call him Jesus and that's the Masons again, you know, you get to this point in your faith, you get to this point in your walk and you learn that you're calling, you're calling your best friend by the wrong name, I mean, oh, I've repented this morning, so I'm calling him Yeshua, I'm calling Christ now Yeshua. So can can and um, I'd love some confirmation on that that that's what you say, um, some correction if you feel as though that's not correct. Is it still Christ? Is it Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua Christ, or is it just Yeshua? You just say the one name when you're referring to Jesus and Christ. I just sort of I prayed to the Lord about this, and I did get concern, discernment. Uh, Beck, you actually gave me discernment there yesterday, sister, with just what you revealed with your name there, you know. Remember what you revealed, and I'm sort of asking for discernment as to whether I should stop calling Jesus, Jesus, and by a different name, and you know what I mean? You get where I'm coming from, sister. So I feel as though that was the discernment in that area. But I'm hearing Yah-Washi or Yah-Washi, and then... 
<coughs> I'm yeah, sure, and I'm hearing a few different names. I just want to get it right because he is my best friend. Um, I just want to get it right. So I've repented this morning and and just asked for discernment um, from from he. Um, but it's been a tough morning because I was all pumped up about the camper van, you know, and I get there and it's just not there, you know. And when I got there, the walk was a lot longer than I thought. It was about a 3K walk and it started raining. There was no footpath and I had thongs on and it was just all this grass and mud. And I'm like, what am I doing? And I couldn't find the joint. And as soon as I get there, the guy just looked at me and says, oh, he just looked at me like I was just an idiot, you know, when I asked him for what I wanted, you know. And it was two hours on the train to get there, you know. He just looked at me like I was some sort of... No, he certainly wasn't tolerant of me. That's for sure. He wasn't. He wasn't showing um, any sort of diversity or, or non-bullying behaviour. That's for, that's for sure. But that's okay. It's okay to do that against Brett. That's fine. You can only you, the tolerance and equality and and diversity and and all of those things only happen to people who are doing works that are anti-God. This is where it drives me absolutely bloody mental. All of these social agendas. It's like. Oh, I'm some sort of outcast now, which is fine. I've always been an outcast, and I do it in the name of the Lord now. But it's like, oh, because I won't accept all their iniquity, but they can just treat me like a piece of shit. I was down at the hospital there yesterday with my brother, and it took forever. We're eight thirty. It was an appointment, right? We didn't just go to the waiting room. It was an appointment, and we're sitting there, sitting there. We got to like quarter past ten, and he said, "Can you go up and just ask her?" You know, just to make sure she hasn't forgotten us. I said, I know what's going to happen, mate. I'm going to go up there and she's just going to look at me and go, look, you need to understand that we're very, very busy here. And she did exactly that. I go up there and I just look at her. I just think, you are just, oh, you are a creature. Yeah, but it's fine. She's allowed to talk to me like that because she stands behind this sign that says, any threatening or any abusive behaviour will not be tolerated. And what's abuse? Abuse is disagreement. If I just, I just have to look at her and go, okay, thank you for treating me like a piece of shit. Thank you for treating me like I'm a fluoride munching robot that has no thoughts of my own because I think everything is equal and everyone is equal and we all need to be tolerant. If I go like that, I'm being abusive. And that's the world we live in. That's the world we live in. So, um, I've been sort of, I'll just finish this here. I was going to do a separate video on it, but I'll just finish this here. I've been sort of thinking about the rapture and the tribulation and pre-trib and this learner still here and back to 30Ks. That's okay. I'm being patient. I'm being tolerant. I've got a truck now. I've got a truck behind me and it's all right. He's okay. He's showing patience. Yeah, we've just been thinking about the post-trip and pre-trip and all that sort of stuff, you know. Um, I don't know if it matters. I think you've got to read the Bible. You've got to discern the Bible. I mean, to me, it looks like stuff goes down early in Revelation. Like, I think in Revelation 7 there, there's there's something about where the the, 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 the men in dressed in white, the wise men or whatever they are up there, there's a whole heap of them. They come down and get the elect or something, and then and then the beasts come out of the sea and all that. I mean, that's, that's how I read it all. But really, at the end of the day, it, it, so now we're going over a speed bump. And the learner's being very, very safe. Look how slow I'm going over the speed bump. 20 k's. Please go straight through. And it turns left. So I'm going to go right. And I'm going to go this way. Because I'm over the learner. I'm over being tolerant and equal. Speed bump. Yeah, so I don't think it matters. It's all about... It's just all about... Um, Waking up every day, this is sort of what I'm starting to think your walk with the Lord is all about. It's waking up every day and just trying to get stronger in the Lord, and that means gaining more wisdom, and that means studying the Bible, that means studying the Apocrypha, cross-referencing things, um, just just learning, just learning more wisdom, because that's the Lord wants. That's what the Lord wants us to do, because the Scripture is quite clear that that knowledge is going to increase in the um, in the end days, which is where we are. Looks like we've got through the equinox, which is good. Um, <laughs> but knowledge will increase with the end in the end days, and and it's 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 people are going to become uh, aware of the truth, and it's up to us to distribute that truth. And the the only way we can find out the truth is to study it. And you know how they've taught us; they've taught us to study you know geography and the globe and evolution, and we have to memorise tests. And when we memorise all the questions in the test, we're compliant. You know, I think that's the sort of thing we've got to do in the Bible. Except we're not trying to pass a test; we're just trying to get the truth. You know, truth is just what we're trying to do. And 
I just believe, like I'm sort of glowing in this space at the moment because I just, I, in my heart of hearts, I believe I'm onto something here with the Nephilim and these skins. I just firmly believe that I'm onto something, something's, something's cracked. Something, there's, there's two scriptures in, in Jasher and, and Genesis that, that, um, that, that, that are just linked. They're just linked and they just confirm a really strange, um, chap, a chap, strange story in Genesis that I've always wondered about, that I've talked about on here before. So, um, I'm sort of glowing in this space at the moment. So that's where I'm at sort of with the post trip, pre trip and all that. Just wake up every day, do good works, keep reading the scripture. I mean, you can probably have in your heart of hearts what you want to have. I mean, we're human, you know, you've got to, you know, I, I, I know I just, I just want to go now. I've just had enough, you know, but I know, I know well, I haven't had enough, but I mean, I just, it's hard to deal with, isn't it? it? It's just, you know, all this inclusiveness and equality, and it's just, it's just so stupid. Like, it, seriously, equality. Like, I'm a man, you're a woman. Like, we're not equal. Like, I'm six foot one, you're not. You know, I'm Brett, you're not. You know, um, I've got a sore back, you don't. My knees are killing me all the time, yours don't. You know, the whole thing. You know, if I run, if I run 200 meters, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, lay down and die because I'm exhausted. You won't. Why, why won't you? Because you work on your fitness. You know, it's just the whole thing. So, yeah, I need second gear. I'm gonna feel the whole notion of equality is just stupid. But they just hearken to it. They just, I, I don't, I don't get it. It's like, well, what do you want to be equal with? Like, is it money? It's probably money, isn't it? It's always bloody money. But I don't know. What is it? What is it? What is equality? I'd love to know. Anyway, so I sort of ended there. Just post, post trip, pre trip. To me, it doesn't overly matter. I'm not. Just do good works. Just study the word. Um, be aware of what's going on with around you. Um, when you uncover the enemy, each time uh, the enemy's uncovered, just look into their motivations, look into their motives. Um, and then you'll find truth there as well, there, because the enemy, when they're exposed, I've done it time and time again, when they're exposed, all he comes full drive with its lights on, and it's not slowing down. It will make me hurry. Whew. That was close. It was boring. 50k zone. It's all right. He doesn't have to be safe. He doesn't have to be safe. And that's the thing, you know, I drive this car and people are up my ass all the time. And isn't that bullying? But no, that's fine. It's fine. You can do that to Brett. No worries. You can do that to Brett. But then when Brett goes to harm any day and I see a transgender creature and I say, you're an abomination to the Lord, oh, they'll put me in jail. I've been hounded out of the workplaces. I've been hounded out of the workplaces just for saying things the way they are. You know, you go to work and they say, oh, did you see this on the news last night? And I just go, well, it's just fake. It's not real. And you get fired for it, you know. And then you're meant to hearken to this equality and no one can even tell me what it is nonsense this is the world we live in i got through the video without losing my voice so that's good you've got through another one of my rants which is even better i said in my video there yesterday i really appreciate you sharing my walk you can see it's a bit of a roller coaster ride for me some days and and that's that's a lot of the reason well that's some of the reason why i do it because i know a lot of you are out there and you're watching and i've been getting some really encouraging comments so i appreciate that keep them coming um, because I know a lot of people, they don't want to put up content, you know, they feel, you know, they want their privacy protected or they just don't feel confident or they, whatever, you know, we're all, that's what I'm saying. We're not all the same. We're not all equal. We're all different. And this is sort of one of the, yeah, this is what the Lord's given me. He's given me the ability to do YouTube clips and be able to discern, st discern stuff that I see and put it on YouTube. And, you know, you guys are getting stuff out of that, you know, so. I really appreciate that. I appreciate you sharing my walk um, because I know I'm helping, you know, because I'm sure you guys feel exactly the same way some days. Some days you just feel, you just feel like, oh, I just can't bear it. I just can't do another day of this. It's like some days you just feel like the Lord's not there, not there. And that's because you're just down and you're not listening to his voice. You're hearkening to the demons. And, you know, it's possible you may have sinned. And I, I know I do. Sometimes I just... I just, you know, I lose discipline and I lose focus and I sin and, you know, and that's where the demons let in, get, get let in, the iniquity comes in and you, and you just lose touch with God. And I had to do it there today. I said I sort of got myself into a bit of a state about having to walk on that grass and dirt and mud and I'm thinking not everyone that goes and spends 40 grand on a camper have to walk through mud, you know, most people would probably get a lift there, you know. And I go there and the guy just treats me like a piece of crap, he just wasn't interested, you know, and you just go, oh... 
And I got myself into a bit of a state and I walked back and I just went, deep breath and I went, Yeshua. And he said, here I am. So I'm like, all right. So he's here. He's always here. You just got to know that he's here and just not lose faith that he's here because it's all true, guys. You know, don't, we all, I don't know, do you have those moments where you go, you know, maybe it's not all true. I just can't deal with it anymore. Don't, because it is all true. Remember truth? Remember how truth doesn't move? It's an immovable object. Well, that's, that's our Yeshua, guys. That's our Lord. They're immovable objects. It is true. We've seen enough. We've experienced enough. We've testified to each other enough that it's real. The Bible stands up. The Apocrypha stands up. What we're seeing in the world stands up. It's all true. So if you don't feel the Lord, just seek him and he'll be there. He's back on me now. He's back on me now as I deliver these words to you. So again, guys, thanks for thanks for sharing my walk. It means a lot to me that you're here um, and that I'm reaching people that, that are having similar journeys to me. Please share your stories. If you're working on things, if you're working on projects in the Bible or whatever, whatever works you're doing, please share them with me. Help me as well. Help me through my works because it is appreciated. I get comments there all the time, you know, like Frida there. You put up that comment about, you know, firstly, you've got to understand what happened in heaven and the third and all that. And it just it just really flicked a switch for me in my, um, in my Genesis 5 work there, sister. So thank you. Um, Dave, the UK watcher there, mate. You've just been sensational with your encouragement. Thank you. Um, I think it's plain. Is it a plain catcher, plain something or other? Um, you, 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 you said that thing about there about the gym the other day, and I'm telling you, I don't know. I'd love to know how, why you actually put down that comment, what drove you in your brain, because I believe that was the Lord. That was the Lord because I was, I don't know. I should do the gym because I should I should present myself in a in a good way to people. You know, if I go back to being a fat slob who doesn't have any self looks like he doesn't have any self respect. You know, how am I going to gain the respect of those people who are looking to um, looking for the Lord? You know, and it's not about me. It's not about ego, of course. But you know, I've got to gain their respect because they're still in the flesh and they're not there yet. That's why you've got to you've got to harken back to the world when you. You know, when you're talking to people who are trying to find the Lord, you've got to bring it back to what they want. You know, what is it you're looking for? What brings you to me today? What is it you're seeking? Is it is it truth? Is it you know, what? What is it you're seeking? You know, and you've got to talk on their level. I've said to before, it's like it's like talking to a child. They're not children, but they are in Christ. They are in the Lord. And it's like you just gotta you got to appeal on their level, just like you do with kids. You know. You're not going to interest kids unless you talk to something that interests them. And it's just like people that are looking for the Lord. So, um, so yeah, so I'm not quite sure where I was with all that one. But, 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 but thank you so much for all your words of encouragement. I'm going to end this video now because you can see and you can hear that my voice is just about had it. I'm sick of being unwell. I'm sick of not being able to find a camper. I'm just not well. I'm just not well. Pray for me today, please, guys. Brothers and sisters, please pray for me. It's, it's horrible. I just I haven't felt this bad in years, and it just seems to be getting worse by the day. All right, brothers and sisters, stay strong in Christ. Be, be ruthless in Christ, and be re 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 relentless in Christ. And that's the only uplifting thing I've got to say today, because I'm not well. And it's done every part of my, of my being to do this video today. No, no, that's... That's not true. That's not true. I love doing my videos and I love reaching out to you guys and I love reaching you guys and I love the fellowship back. So again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for everything. And let's keep going on this journey together. I'm Mr. Gear. I'm Mr. Gear at a set of street lights, and there's a great big white thing behind me with its lights on, but it took it well. It took it well. All right, brothers and sisters, till, my, till next time, it's a great big amen from me. You've been left me.